Hi, I'm Dean Potter and I'm a pediatric surgeon at Mayo Clinic Rochester. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the treatment of uh, chest wall deformities, uh, otherwise known as a pectus excavatum. Uh, some people refer to this deformity as a funnel chest or a depression in the chest. Uh, most children have these deformities uh, essentially from birth. However, they tend to get worse about adolescence or during, adolescence or during their growth spurt, about age 10 to 12. Uh, some children, uh, this can be very distressing. Uh, it can cause uh, physical symptoms such as uh, shortness of breath while exercising, uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease or burning in the throat, and even chest pain. Uh, there are surgical procedures for this uh, deformity if it meets certain criteria such as depth and symptomatology. Uh, and we've been performing this surgery here in uh, Mayo Clinic Rochester for decades. Uh, it involves a minimally invasive uh, technique called the NUS procedure or minimally invasive pectus excavatum repair uh, de developed by Dr. Donald Nuss, uh, who is a graduate of Mayo Clinic Rochester. Uh, we place a bar uh, across the chest that elevates the sternum uh, in one uh, operative setting. Most generally, patients would uh, have this bar in place for about three to five years, and once they've reached skeletal maturity, we remove the bar uh, in an outpatient procedure. Now what sets uh, this treatment apart at Rochester, uh, Minnesota, is that we've developed a comprehensive pain management protocol. Uh, this is a very painful procedure because you're moving the chest and recontouring the chest all within minutes uh, during a surgery. Uh, generally, patients would stay in the hospital for five days and have epidural catheters uh, and just not feel well. However, with uh, conjunction with our anesthesiology department uh, and also our pain management department, we've developed a, a protocol where our length of stay is now only two to three days and patients recover uh, much more quickly. It involves using uh, pain infusion catheters in the back in addition to preoperative and postoperative pain medications. Um, all of our patients uh, that have underwent this protocol have been very happy. Uh, in general, they don't even look remotely similar to the patients even five years ago uh, due to the improved pain management. Again, this is a very easable, easily treated uh, disease that can be done at many hospitals. However, our pain management protocol here at Mayo Clinic Rochester really uh, helps our patient recover more quickly and get back to life much sooner.